What's going on everyone? It's Kyle from Clean Kitchen Nutrition. Today I am heading into Walmart to look at all the different types of bread, which ingredients to look for and which ingredients to avoid. So before I head in there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, hit the like and uh, let's head into Walmart. So as we can see, there are a lot of different bread options here at Walmart. And if we were to just look at a classic brand like Nature's Own, uh, we'll look at the honey wheat first and then I'll show you this compared to the 100% uh, whole wheat. So in this one, the first ingredient we see is unbleached enriched flour. So this is what we call a refined carbohydrate. So it's stripped of all of its vitamins, minerals, and nutrients uh, in order to extend its shelf life. The only reason they do this is so this can last forever on the shelves and they don't have to replace it. So I would much rather see something with whole wheat like this one. So this is the whole wheat flour. Obviously, there are some other ingredients that I'm not going to approve of, such as soybean oil. But as a general rule of thumb, you want to look for whole wheat compared to uh, enriched or unbleached wheat flour. So let me give you a quick lesson about whole grains. So there's three parts of the whole grain, the bran, the germ, and the endosperm. And the whole wheat contains all three of these parts while when you refine it and you get something like enriched unbleached wheat flour that is only the endosperm and there's no nutrients there there's only nutrients in the other two parts which is only found in whole grains or whole wheat so if we just look at a couple more of these other brands i don't want to keep going over the same thing but we're going to see enriched wheat flour and we're most likely to see some type of vegetable oil like soybean canola oil I also see soy lecithin, natural flavors, um, monoglycerides, just really not great stuff. Um, if we want to look over here, we can look at something like Wonder Bread, I'm sure. You know, it's all very similar ingredients, just some of them are in different orders, but unbleached, enriched wheat flour, and wow, this one really has a lot of ingredients. Oh, but also just to note, down here we see a lot of synthetic vitamins. The reason they add all the synthetic vitamins is really to just boost the uh, label on there and say, oh, it has vitamin D, it has vitamin C, when in reality, our body really doesn't know what to do with synthetic vitamins. It's best to get vitamins and minerals from their whole form, aka whole grains, whole wheat, that kind of thing. So um, if someone says, oh, it's, it's fortified with vitamins and minerals and it's, it's all good, not really the case. Um, I don't know if there's any exact studies that point to that, but from my experience and what I know, a lot of these synthetic vitamins aren't even gonna get absorbed by the body. Okay, looks like we got some better options over here. Dave's Killer Bread is one of the better ones. They don't use um, refined carbs. They use whole wheat flour. Um, and I believe they don't use any vegetable oils in here. I'm looking, I don't see any, so that's great to see. Um, the only thing you have to be careful about Dave's Killer Bread is the added sugar. So this one only has one gram of added sugar per slice, which is totally fine. But I know some of them have a little bit more. That one has two, which I'm still okay with. Let's look at this whole grain one here. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Five grams of added sugar per slice is just a little too much in my opinion. While it is still whole wheat and all very solid ingredients, I don't want to see that high amount of sugar per slice. That's 10 grams of added sugar if you're going to have a sandwich. Here is another gluten-free bread up here, Sam's Choice, and let's take a look at these ingredients. So they're using brown rice flour, tapioca starch, tapioca syrup, whole grain, which is what we want to see. I do see high oleic sunflower oil, which isn't bad. I normally recommend that every once in a while throughout the week, but they're also using fully hydrogenated palm oil, which is not something we wanna be putting in our bodies. Highly processed, high in omega-6, oxidizes easily. Um, so we'll stay away from that. This looks very similar. Let me just double check and make sure there's no other ingredients in here. Yep, still the palm oil. Okay, so really? Out of all of these breads in the aisle at Walmart, I would recommend the Dave's Killer Bread. And I honestly think that's it, guys. I'm sorry there's not more uh, or there's not better options here. 
but I'm gonna head over to the freezer section now because I know they have some better options over there. So over here in the freezer section is going to be a much better option. And this is Ezekiel bread. So if we take a look at these ingredients, we can see that they use, where are the ingredients? There they are. They use all organic sprouted grains. When grains are sprouted, it means the phytic acid is um, broken down, making the nutrients in it more absorbable. And actually there's more nutrients in sprouted bread, sprouted grains compared to uh, the whole grains over there and uh, the unbleached enriched wheat flour as well. But going back to the other ingredients in here, we can see it is all organic, it's all sprouted. They actually don't use any oils in here, which is good to see. And they are using soybeans, but it's organic and sprouted soybeans, which is the best kind you can get. So this is not gluten-free, but I find that a lot of people who are sensitive to gluten do okay with sprouted grain bread, in which case I would recommend Ezekiel bread. It also looks like Ezekiel, well, the brand is Food for Life, but it's their Ezekiel bread. It looks like they also have English muffins that uh, is gonna be a great option. If you're looking for a gluten-free bread, I like Canyon Bakehouse. If we take a look at these ingredients right here. Very good, they're using brown rice flour, tapioca flour, sour gum flour. They are using agave syrup, which I know you probably know I recommend avoiding, but it's only two grams of added sugar per slice. I really don't wanna see anything above two grams of added sugar per slice. If we go over that, it's just a little much and they're using extra virgin olive oil and then some other emulsifiers and things like that, which is going to be expected in bread. This brand, Udi's down here, Udi's, Udi's, not sure how you say it, but there's one ingredient I don't love in here and it is the canola oil. If they weren't using canola oil, then I would say that bread is perfectly fine, but due to the canola oil, that's not gonna be something I'm gonna approve. Here's another one that just caught my eye. This looks like a keto bread from Extraordinary Bites, but similar to a few of those other breads that we were looking at on the shelves, they use soy oil, and I believe it's also used in this one. Uh, yes, yeah, soybean oil, um, so that's gonna be not something I recommend. Before I go, I just wanted to check the gluten-free section to see if there was any other types of breads that I was missing, but looks like we have the Canyon Bakehouse here, which is perfect. And then this brand over here, Char, I think I've looked at this before. I wanna say they use sunflower oil, and yes, they do. So unfortunately, that's gonna be a no-go. Um, Simple Mills does make a baking mix bread. I don't see it here at Walmart. I've seen it at, I wanna say Wegmans and Whole Foods before. I haven't tried it, but I really wanna make it and see how the bread is. And also another quick note on gluten-free items. A lot of people may come over to the gluten-free section and think, oh, everything is perfect, but I'm just going to grab something like these chocolate covered pretzels. People think, oh, they're gluten-free. Let's go for that. Unfortunately, it's not the case. I see 11 grams of added sugar one of the first ingredients, palm kernel oil, I see canola oil. So just be careful in the gluten-free section. Just because it's gluten-free doesn't mean it is clean and healthy. Also, while I'm over here, I wanted to quickly talk about bagels. I think the only one here that I would recommend is going to be Dave's Killer Bread. But again, just watch out for the added sugar content. I wouldn't really want to see above two or three in bagels. Um, one to avoid is definitely going to be Thomas. I hate to just, you know, bash on companies, but these ingredients are just very, very bad. I see enriched wheat flour, obviously, natural and artificial flavors, vegetable oils, and then they're even adding in artificial colors in here for the blueberries. I mean, there's really just no reason to do that. Just use real blueberries. Blueberries are blue. Why do we have to add artificial coloring in here? That is just... That just blows my mind. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, leave your questions and comments below and let me know where I should go next. What stores do you wanna see and what type of food do you wanna see? I'll see you guys next time.